We're going to talk about color space transform, what it is, why you would need it, and how to use it effectively here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, what is color space transform? It's a fairly advanced plugin that accurately converts your footage from a log color space to a delivery format like Rec. 709, Rec. 2020, or P3. Now, to use a color space transform, you would simply go over to Open Effects take the color space transform and drop that on a node. I'm gonna drop it on this last node and there's a very specific reason for that and we'll get to that later. We're then going to go in and dial this in to the settings that we want. We're gonna choose Airy Wide Gamut 4, Log 4 for our input gamma, our output color space is gonna be Rec 709 and our output gamma will be Gamma 2.4. Down here under Tone Mapping, I'm going to use the DaVinci setting. And under Gamut Mapping, I'm also going to use Saturation Compression. Now that we know what a color space transform is and a little bit about how to use it, why would you use it? Normally you would, if you're working with a handful of clips, you maybe would use your lift gamma gain, your offset, maybe your curves to dial it in, find that point of normalization that you're satisfied with, and move on at that point to your creative color grid. And if you're working with a handful of clips, that's absolutely doable and perfectly fine. However, if you're potentially working on a short documentary, a film, and there's 600 to 1,000 clips, possibly more, doing all of that excess work can become incredibly difficult, time-consuming, and tedious. Now, because of deadlines, you may not have that flexibility. And I can also pretty much promise you that you will never match exactly what the camera saw in relation to what your monitor can display. At least not as effectively as the color space transform can. Now before I close out this video, I do want to talk about why I put the color space transform on my very last node. The reason for that is all of that information is contained in this node. So if I take my color space transform, which is right here, and place it on this node, I lose a great deal of the information contained in that clip. And what that does is limits the amount of flexibility I have within that clip to find a very specific creative look that I may be after. Working from clip to clip, I really want to have the greatest amount of camera information to work with. I want that final look to be affected by everything I put into it and to end result to have that normalized shot of the color space transform at the very end. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for future DaVinci tutorials.